we've got all of our Christmas shopping done, gang. Yes, yeah, so am I. Now all we have to do is to stop by the Home Sweet Home Orphanage and say hello to Mrs. Brown and the kids. We're almost there now. Say, they really know how to throw a great Christmas party for the kids. You know, last year they had a Santa, and also they had a great meal that my stomach still remembers. Shaggy, your stomach sure has a good memory, and a big hungry mouth attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, that nice Mr. Johnson, who is a retired employee from the department store, goes back to the store and gets a Santa costume and some toys and goes to the orphanage to play Santa for the kids. Yeah, and the kids love it and look forward to his visit every year. You know, we should see him there because it's almost time for their Christmas party. Well, gang, here we are. Hello there, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Fred. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> <laughs> and a Merry Christmas to you too, Scooby-Doo. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. <laughs> Come in, all of you. Oh, I'm glad you're all here. I'm getting worried. Mr. Johnson, our Santa, hasn't arrived yet. He's always on time, and he should have been here by now. Well, don't worry, Mrs. Brown. Maybe he's still down at Brickman's department store getting his costume and toys. No, no, he isn't, Fred, and that's why I'm so worried. I called the night watchman at the store, and he told me that Mr. Johnson had left there over an hour ago. It started to snow, so I sent our handyman, Joe, over to Mr. Johnson's house to drive him here. But he called to say that Mr. Johnson wasn't home. That's strange. Mr. Johnson lives only a couple of blocks from the store, and he's only 20 minutes away from the orphanage. Uh, I wonder where he lives. Well, maybe he'll turn up soon. Meanwhile, please all of you come in and join the children and sing some carols. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how true you stand unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how true you stand unchanging. Your eyes so green in summertime, remain so green in wintertime. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how true you stand unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy faith all so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy faith all so unchanging. A simple stand from God above, proclaiming Him the Lord of love. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how true you stand unchanging. Get the holes with bells of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Down we now are gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Joe the ancient youth I carol, fa la 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 la. See the blazing you'll be for us, fa la 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 la. It's two hours since Mr. Johnson left the department store. I think I should call the police. Wait a minute, Mrs. Brown. The gang and I will ride over to the department store and see if we can trace Mr. Johnson down. Right. Uh, just leave it to Mystery Incorporated. <laughs> we'll find him. Oh, thank you all very much. Please hurry. It's almost time for our Santa to appear and give out his presents to the children. Let's go, gang. 
There's a department store. Hey, it's closed. Right, Shaggy. We'll have to go around back to the loading platform where the night watchman's office is. Hello? Hello there, Mr. Watchman. Who's there? Who's out there? Mrs. Brown from the Home Sweet Home Orphanage sent us down to inquire about Mr. Johnson. Would you please open up so we can talk to you? Okay, just a minute now. Hi there. We're looking for Mr. Johnson, the man who comes here every Christmas to pick up the toys for the orphan. Well, already told the lady from the orphanage that he was here an hour ago. Came in, went to the toy department store room, and got the toys and left. Gee, I wonder where he went. Did he say anything to you? Man never said a word to me. Had on his Santa costume, let him in. A few minutes later, he came out with the sack of toys that the store manager left in the storeroom for him. <laughs> Does the same thing every year. Ooh, something's wrong. Uh, something's wrong here. <laughs> I feel it. What is it, Scoob? It sure sounds okay to me. That's just what Mr. Johnson would do. What's bugging you, Scooby-Doo? Uh, I got it. I got it. It's the costume. What do you mean, Scoob? Mr. Johnson always dresses up like Santa. Oh, Scooby's right, the costume. Scooby, what a brilliant detective you are. Don't you guys get it? Mr. Johnson always comes to the store to pick up his toys and his costume. Well, then why would he be wearing a Santa costume when he got here? Right, Daphne, why? Now I get it. Maybe the guy who came in here wearing the Santa costume wasn't Mr. Johnson. And the costume was just a disguise he used to get into the store. Right. That's what I think. Mr. Watchman, let's take a look in the toy storeroom and see if Scooby's right. And maybe we better take a look. Follow me. Here we are. Look, there's a pile of toys there on the table. But how are we to know if they were just left over? Maybe he just couldn't get all of them into his sack. Well, sir, uh, how about this guy? Hey, look, Scooby's found a Santa outfit. It must be Mr. Johnson's costume. Good work, Scooby. Now, wait a minute, everybody. Maybe this year Mr. Johnson just rented his costume. Doesn't prove thing. He's right, gang. Let's not start making a mystery out of this yet. <laughs> uh, I smell something wrong here. Scooby's got a nose for trouble. I think we ought to check further into this. Now, if somebody pretended to be Mr. Johnson to get into the store, what would he be going after? Hey, my goodness, I better check the jewelry department. Now, you kids, wait right here. Gee whiz, if someone really took Mr. Johnson's place, then what happened to Mr. Johnson? That's easy, Velma. The crook must have kidnapped Mr. Johnson and taken his place. Oh, that poor Mr. Johnson. I hope he's all right. Hold on, let's wait. We've been robbed! We've been robbed! All of our most expensive jewelry's been stolen! I've got to call the police! This is terrible! Yeah, and Johnson is in a lot of trouble unless we can prove someone else did it! Kids, you'll have to leave right now. This is serious business. I'm calling the police right away. Okay, okay. Uh, well, let's go, gang. Oh, uh, can we take the Santa outfit and these presents? Uh, sure, okay. What are we gonna do now? I know that nice Mr. Johnson has nothing to do with this robbery. Right, Velma. Uh, we gotta find him. Oh, those poor kids. They need a Santa for Christmas Eve. Well, we better work fast. Mr. Johnson may need our help. Uh, let's head back to the orphanage. Maybe he'll turn up there. Just a minute. Let's look around here in the alley for some clues. Good idea. It's been snowing lightly for quite a while. There ought to be some tracks here. Yeah, a lot of tracks here, and they're all ours. Shaggy's right. We've walked all around, and we can't tell the difference between our footprints and any of the others that were made before us. How about this? What have you got your big nose into now, Scoob? Oh, my nose isn't so big. What are you looking at, Scooby? Oh, I see. Say, those are tire tracks. A car has been here. Uh-oh, -uh, no. Scooby's right. Those aren't car tracks. Something bigger. Right, like a van or a small truck. 
but we can't follow them. When they reach the street, they're lost among all of the other traffic marks. Uh, Fred, let's get back to the orphanage right now. At least we've got the Christmas presents and the Santa outfit. Maybe we can entertain the kids and, uh, <laughs> get something to eat. Oh, Food yeah. again. Well, let's go inside and tell Mrs. Brown the bad news. Well, I'll see you guys later. Hey, Scoob, come back here. Where are you going? Looking for clues, like a good detective. Let him be, Shaggy. We've got to help Mrs. Brown with those kids. Oh, you're back. Any luck? Mr. Johnson isn't here, and he hasn't even called. Well, no, Mrs. Brown. Frankly, we're worried about him, too. Oh, my. What shall we do? Mrs. Brown, you say that your handyman went to pick up Mr. Johnson, but he wasn't home? That's right. I sent our man, Joe, over in the little bus to bring him here. Joe waited a while for Mr. Johnson because he knew that he had to go to the department store to get his costume and, and the sack of toys, but Mr. Johnson never showed up. Very interesting. Joe knew about Mr. Johnson in the department store. Velma, you're not thinking that the handyman... Mrs. Brown, where's Joe now? Why, uh, he left a while ago to go home. Hey, come here, everybody. I found something. What is it, Scooby? What's going on out here? Check this. Why, look! Scooby's found those same car tracks that we saw in the alley at the department store. And there's what made those tracks. Why, it's the orphanage bus. Let's take a closer look. Shh. Listen. What is it, Scooby-Doo? You have better ears than any of us. It's a noise inside there by the rear door. Let's open it and take a look. <sighs> It's locked. Oh, just a moment. I have the key right here. Thanks. Now let's have a look. Look! It's Mr. Johnson! Yeah! And he's tied and gagged. Oh, quick, quick, help him. Help him, the poor man. Fred, take off his gag and untie him. <sighs> oh, oh, that's better. Uh, Mrs. Brown, I don't understand any of this. For heaven's sake, what happened? Who did this to you? It was Joe, your handyman. He, he, he was parked by the department store. I was just about to reach the store when he called me over to the bus. And that's all I remember. Except I woke up on the floor in the bus all tied and gagged. Mr. Johnson, Joe must have disguised himself as you in a Santa outfit so the watchman could let him into the store, and then... Then the dirty rat robbed the jewelry department! Oh, my. That, that's terrible. Don't worry. He won't get away with it, Mrs. Brown. You'd better call the police right now. I will. I will. Oh, this is just awful. Uh, what about those poor kids? Now I don't have any presents for them, and I don't have my Santa costume. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Johnson. We were at the store, and we picked up all the toys and your costume. Eh? But are you able to play Santa after your terrible ordeal? Oh, oh, I'm okay now. And besides, playing Santa for those orphans is the best medicine in the world for me. Can I play Santa's helper? You certainly can, Scooby-Doo. Why, if it hadn't been for you, I might have frozen to death all tied up in the bus like that. Let's all go inside and have a Merry Christmas with the kid. Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you and all of your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring us a piggy pudding, oh, bring us a piggy pudding, and bring it.